Hello and welcome to another episode of Marla Plays. I am Manuel. I am Perla. And to, oh my God, Hello. we just started. <laughs> I'm tired of your BS. Yes. We're playing Murder by Numbers. Uh, please subscribe. Anyway, we're gonna continue <laughs> playing um, this game. Uh, it's I interesting because it has like little puzzles that I am good at, and I just didn't expect this. I mean, numbers kind of implies it. Mm -hmm. We'll continue. I don't want your autograph, Miss Khaled. Please subscribe. Mm -hmm. I just want you to think about what you saw. You'll have all the. You'll all have to submit statements after I've examined it. Please subscribe. See. Mm -hmm. Do you need anything else until then, or can we please subscribe and go? <laughs> I think we could all do with some time to process what's happening. Hold it! No one's going home. There's been a murder. Oh my god, this guy's ripping my voice apart. I don't want anyone leaving this room until I got the place secured. Understood? You're. British. You're being cute, right? You can't lock us in here. There's no bathroom. Use a no! paper cup if you have to. I want to keep all of you in one place until I got the facts straight. <laughs> My God! Listen, senior detective. I'm not going in a cup. Where do you think we are? A frat party? <laughs> Slowly, my <laughs> voice is devolving with that guy. Casey LeBeau, award-winning hair and makeup artist. Enchanted to meet you. He likes him older. <laughs> Aren't you Brits supposed to be good at keeping things bottled up? Ah. Or now just well, now your chance. That's just rude. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Any other questions? Who's that hiding in the corner? Oh huh? my gosh, what the fuck? Tell me. Me? I wasn't hiding. I got nothing to hide, Mr. Cross. Oh, I mean, Officer Cross. It's not Officer. Senior Detective. Who are you? What are you doing here? Right, right. Senior detective. Got it. The name's Tully. I was just getting a drink when all hell broke loose, senior inspector, sir. <laughs> Let me say it slowly so you get it. Senior detective. And I meant, what are you doing here in the studio? What's your job here? Painter. Oh, why didn't you say so? I'm a handyman by day, bodybuilder and model at night. I'm gonna be the next Schwarzenegger. No. <laughs> Schwarzenegger. That's but great. And I definitely want to circle back <laughs> around to this. But we still haven't solved my Wii problem. <laughs> Literally. For God's sakes. I'm not your babysitter, Miss Lobo. The matter is closed. As for everyone else, I don't care if you're an actress, the next Schwarzenegger, or William Goddamn Shen. <laughs> you're all suspects until I say otherwise. You, security guy. Bill, wasn't it? Take me to the crime scene. Everyone else just sit tight while I do my job. <laughs> The real crime around here are those eyebrows. Somebody needs to pluck those girls before they get into a cat fight. <laughs> hey, big boy. I suppose we're stuck here. So, Tully, let's talk about your bodybuilding. <laughs> Goodness. Goodness I like gracious. Casey. <laughs> I like him too. It's pretty fun. Several hours later. I like Tully. Mm. He doesn't respect authority. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> oh, come on already. Let me out. Would you stop making so much noise? He obviously can't hear you. It's Friday night and I'm supposed to be at a party in like three hours. How am I supposed to get ready if I'm stuck in here with you losers? You realize Blake's dead, right? And all you can think about is your stupid party? Just because Blake's dead doesn't mean my social life has to die too. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh, the unlocks. Huh? Oh, wait, hold on. I need a drink. It's about time. I thought you were ignoring me. <sighs> I was! Wouldn't would have kept it that way too, but I found this guy in the hallway over by the set. What? Oh. You got any potential suspects wandering around that I should know about? Is he a fan? I think he might be a fan. Fudge, where am I? You tell me, you're the detective. Maybe our security guy had checked the place out properly wouldn't have wouldn't have to ask. John, you're gonna stay here until I say otherwise, got it? Yes, detective. <laughs> yeah, sweating. Oh, hi, I'm John. John Redfern. Looks like you. Uh, looks like you're stuck here with us now, John. You'd better not need the bathroom. <laughs> oh my God, you're Miss Terry. <laughs> yeah, I know who I am. Thanks. And you're Detective Oates. Wow. Am I? Oh. Am I, am I guest starring in a new episode or something? 
Right! Hilarious. Who are you again? Don't worry about her. She's a star for attention. So are you a new crew member or... Me? Work on a show? I wish. <laughs> no, I'm just oh, a no, fan. Stalker. Like the biggest fan. I can't believe I'm actually talking to Becky Cow. This is amazing. A fan? Well, oh wait, no, it's you. A fan? Well, why didn't you say so? It's always a pleasure to meet someone who appreciates my talent. I seriously can't even. Everyone on user is going to go nuts when I tell them about this. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! He's one of those freaks from the internet! What if he's the killer? Okay. Rude. Mm -hmm. Killer? What are you talking about? Come on, is Becky. Is that her on his shirt? Yeah. <gasps> Come on, Becky. He only just got here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make enemies. Why? Could have been any one of us. It could have been you, any Becky. one of us, even you, Becky. Me? Honor, have you lost your tiny mind? Why didn't I see it sooner? Honor did it. <gasps> that Excuse dishonor. me. Could, could, could no. someone explain? Maybe explain what's going on. Think about it. She's the one that just got fired. Anyone want to know that? What the what? You got fired? How did Becky know? Becky asked to get forgive me fired a bit. Oh, that's actually a good point. It happened right before this thing with Blake. I didn't know how to tell you. You don't need to be Miss Terry to realize that's one hell of a motive for murder. Don't you go throwing stones, Miss Glasshouse 1996. We all know you and Blake were fighting over your new contract. Ah, what? I don't have to listen to this. Don't you walk away. <laughs> Could someone please tell me what's happening? Mm. All by myself. Everything's falling, falling apart. apart. All by myself. I wish I could do something instead of being stuck in here. If I could just get out. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe I, can. I can help. Yeah. Is it the robot? I'm hearing voices. So far, she's the only one that's seen him, so <laughs> maybe. Hello! You again? What are you doing here? Are you doing an accent right now? No! Yeah. Wait, what was it? What was the question? Uh, a killer. I don't know. A killer. And it could be anyone in this room. Even you! <laughs> no, not me. I just don't know how to prove that yet. Maybe that's how I can help. How do I know I can trust you? I don't even know what you are. I'm a scout. Ask me anything you want. I'll try my best to answer. Question. Hello, Detective. Hello, Detective Justin Actress. Please call me Honor. It's a pleasure to meet you, Honor. I am Scout. Oh, Honor and Scouts. All oh, Scouts Honor. Uh huh. What would you like to know? What are you? First, first things first. What are you? Good question. Unfortunately, I do not have the answer. That's why I need a detective. You don't know anything about yourself? I know I am a robot. I am equipped with radar and imaging camera on over 200 megabytes of storage. Over 200 megabytes? Whoa! <laughs> more impressive with gigabytes. <laughs> so you're or some terabytes. Kind of flying camera. Unclear. I'm... Most of my sub routes are corrupted, but many are for searching optical data and matching to known objects. Wait, what was that word? Which one? Sub routes? Sub routes? Sub routines. Sub routes. So. However, most of my object databases have been lost. Okay. That explains the tampon thing. How did you lose so much data? I don't know. My memory banks were severely deteriorated when I came online. Huh. Seems like you're quite the mystery scout. Hmm. Where did you come from? Where'd Where you, you go? go? Where did you come, come from? Cotton Eye Nigel. Joe. I was hiding under the table and I looked you <laughs> inside. I hadn't been in here. I mean, who made you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All that tech and no warranty card. Better hope you don't need any spare parts. Okay, let's work backwards. How did you get here? I was following the street when I saw it. Murder, Miss Terry, solving mysteries every Thursday. Huh. The billboard outside the studio. Do you solve... <laughs> Do you solve mysteries on other days as well? I don't know if I can wait until Thursday. <laughs> That's so cute. You said you were following me. This uh, you were following the street. Were you? Where were you before? 
a bad place. There were broken electronics everywhere. No wonder I was damaged. You mean the scrap heap? Who would throw something like you away? That's what I want to find out. So what do you want from me? I told you I'm not a real detective. I understand, but perhaps you can help me find one. <laughs> Scout, I've got my own problems. One of my friends is dead. Also, maybe you haven't noticed, but we're locked inside a break room. I can't help anyone there. Break out. <laughs> <laughs> then Get let the me help out. you. I can find a way out of this room so I can prove your innocence. And then I'll be free to help you. It's logical, is it not? Can't argue with that. How do I know I can trust you? My friend is dead. For all I know, you killed I would never hurt anyone. That's against the robot code. And I don't even know how. Look at those hands, though. Mm. I only want to find out who I am. Hmm. I don't see any weapons on you. I guess you're safe. For now. Yeah, <laughs> look at him. But I swear, if you go all hell 9000 on me, we're through. Wait. Are we too old for that reference? No. It's, Are we too um... Young? Yeah, uh, Odyssey is Space Odyssey 2001 reference. I've never seen it. You've never seen it? No, I've only seen The Simpsons. Halloween oh, House of Horror. do you want to watch it? Okay, I guess. <laughs> okay. Sure, I'll do a quick scan. <laughs> you sounded so sad. Then. Yeah. I guess if we have to watch that movie. I found a way out. There's a gap in the wall. It's behind you, approximately six feet, eight inches tall. But... The door. Oh my god. That's a door scout. <laughs> if I could get out that way, I would need your help. Sorry, my logic circuits are obviously still warming up. Give me a moment to make a more detailed scan. Investigate. 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 You scout scanning mode to the goggles. So I'm moving forward with your mouse and click the scan when the cursor is on fully right. Okay, so we figured it out. We were able to um, get the, the scanning part started. So now we're we're good. So tell your oh, stories. We're right good. Now. Huh? Tell your stories. Oh yeah, so I do have yeah. consent to be able to continue? Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, so I like to read from the subreddit called um, Am I the Asshole? Where they basically talk about if they are assholes or not. Let me see. This is only gonna happen while this this puzzle is happening since yeah, she, she has to be in a zone. So I gotta Auto leave. zone. Not sponsored. <laughs> so the first one. Am I the asshole for not taking down my video that was a gift from my best man? Uh, I have a sister that's six years older than me. My parents for years cancel on me last minute because of my sister. I have a basketball oh, game. <laughs> oh, oops, sorry, sister doesn't feel like going out. And graduating. Oops, sorry, sister had a bad day at work. They have missed both major and smaller events in my life because of remote times. I met the love of my life. We decided to tie the knot. From the beginning, I told my parents how I am worried my sister would ruin another special moment in my life. My mom told me over and over again it would not happen. The day of my wedding, I received, it <laughs> I received a voicemail from my mom saying they couldn't come because my sister's dog was sick and she was upset. I was hurt. My best man, however, is a jokester. He took my phone, then went to my fiance and asked if he could post a video of our wedding as a gift on social media. Uh, on social media, she loved this idea. I had no idea how it. Mm, uh, I have no idea about it until I came home. Our honeymoon was at a lakeside cabin, no self service. The post caption was, "My best friend. He is an amazing person, even if his parents never showed up for him." Video was still pictures of us next to her parents, me on the dance floor cutting the cake. Where you would normally see my boat when you see both my parents um, in wedding pictures. The sound behind the video was my mom's voicemail explaining how they couldn't come because my sister's dog was sick. I came home a week later to hundreds of messages, family members from both sides insisting I take it down. I was told my sister hadn't stopped crying. My mom is refusing to leave the house. I may be the A here. I didn't take it down when I got the messages. I didn't call my family back right away. I waited until my vacation time was over at work and enjoyed my time with my wife in our new home before I contacted anyone. My dad told me to take down the video. I was It was just just a bad night for them. That that they will make it up to me and my wife for not coming. My reply was exactly, how do you plan to make up my wedding? It's a once in a lifetime thing. You chose to ignore my feeling on the whole matter. Then he repeated, he will make it up to me. I told him I would take down the video only when he made up missing my wedding. Flustered, we both hung up the phone before we both said things we shouldn't have. 
Am I the A here? I could have just taken down the video. No. Not the A. Not the A. Not the A. No. And okay, so what has happened now is that mm. we have found a metal cover, a metal air vent that we're going to probably crawl through. Hopefully it works, but we don't have a crowbar to take off the metal. Mm -hmm. um, oh. oh, so uh, now we got to find a crowbar. Maybe. Honor, are you really that desperate for friends? I always knew you were weird, but I don't think, I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. <laughs> He's helping me. I didn't kill Blake, and I'm going to prove it. Ooh. Ha! How's a piece of junk like that going to help you? Looks like you've dug an old Betamax player out of the trash. Oh. Actually, I didn't meet on there until after I left the scrap heap. Mm -hmm. That explains the smell around here. Oh. Ugh, what's taking the detective so long? You'd think someone his age would value time. <laughs> For once, I agree with you. Scout found an air vent that leads out of the room. I'm gonna get out of there and prove I'm innocent. Prove the innocence? What? No way! I'm not letting you sneak out of here while I'm stuck in here. What are you yeah. gonna do? Tie me to a chair? If you so much as touch that air vent, I'm telling Detective Cross. You get fired, Blake dies, and then you try and escape? You don't look so innocent to me. Oh, I mean, that's... Me? What if she's right? Escaping this room may not be the best option. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense, Scout, and we have to move fast. The longer we wait, the more time the killer has to cover their tracks. How do you know that? Because I need to cover my tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up a thing or two over the years. Murder mysteries were always my favorite kind of story. I just never expected to be in one. Yeah. But before we can get out of here, we have to find some way to distract Becky. Give her a mirror. <laughs> question. Yeah, question of bitch. Becky! 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 Ugh! What do you want? Ugh. Go. How are you holding up? My bad. <sighs> I'll be okay. <laughs> no thanks to that idiot detective. I can't believe he's left us locked in here without any protection. What if the killer tries to finish off the rest of us? You don't think they'd be trying to lay low? How should I know? I'm not the murderer! Maybe not, on the other hand. What? That contract thing? Don't be stupid on there, that's just business. I'm not a suspect, I'm a victim of circumstance. <laughs> you undertook the cross. Were you really fighting with Blake about your contract? I do not want to talk about it! Bitch, but can you believe these people? I'm their biggest star and they can't even find a few thousand dollars for promotion. Oh God. I swear, it's like they want the show to die this award season. What are you smiling about? Nothing. It's just, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Swipe drop. <laughs> you and Detective Cross. Sounds like you could hook up. Sounds like you don't think much about Detective Cross. He's so old! I thought real detectives were supposed to be cool and mysterious. The only thing mysterious about him is why he hasn't been retired yet. Damn. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, like, why he hasn't died yet. <laughs> yeah. You should let me go. Where's he? If you really want to get out of here, you should let me go. The sooner I can prove my I'm innocent, the sooner Detective Cross can concentrate on finding the real killer. I.E. you. No. No way! If I have to be stuck in here, then so do you. You're just mad because you're going to miss your stupid party. It's a social event of the season, and I'm supposed to be there in three hours! If I don't get out of here soon, everyone will be drunk by the time I get there. They won't even notice me arriving. You're more worried about getting to a party on time than about Blake? Don't you care at all? Of course I care! It's tragic! But this isn't just any party, it's Mitzi McCree party! Do you know how hard it is to get on her guest list? I've been trying for months. Not that you don't understand. You always got invited to these parties with your husband. Uh -oh. Oops. Sorry. Ex-husband. Oh god, I want to strangle that bitch. Maybe now you're di now you're divorced. You'll finally see what's like for people like me. You know, people who got where they are through hard work, not by marrying some rich guy. Ooh. Ooh. I audition like everybody else. Oh, sure. And who got you the audition in the first place? I still don't understand why you divorced him. 
If I had a guy who got me into Mitzi McCree parties, I'd never give him up. Damn. It's a lot more going mm -hmm. on than I thought. So, let's see. So how does it feel to finally meet your biggest, our biggest fan? Who? John? He's so pathetic! He keeps trying to talk to me about poetry or some crap, as if I want to hear about poetry at a time like this. Do you think your biggest fan would know you aren't interested in art? I am into art! But fashion is the art of the 90s, Honor. And John is anything but fashionable. It would be amazing if she gets in, um, and starts dating him by the end of the game. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna stop right here. But yeah, we're gonna continue this dramedy at a later point. I have been Manuel. I have been Perla. Stay safe, sane, and smiling, everyone. And subscribe. And solve mysteries. Bye. Bye.